Hmm, I can buy my own maple syrup for $50 a gallon, or I could buy all the equipment I need to make it myself and make it for $1,000 a gallon. Honey, how much is in the kids' college fund? Whoa, I'm pulling 35 inches of vacuum at the releaser. Time to get the picture of this, put it on Facebook to flex on everyone. Hashtag eat it losers. There's a sugar moon tonight. You know what that means. That moon's gravitational pull is gonna pull the sap right up out of the tree's taps tomorrow. It's the middle of January and my soft maples have buds on them. Has anyone seen this before? What does this mean? Hey guys, is this one a maple? Winds from the east, sap runs least. How many trees do I tap? How many don't I tap? How many trees do I tap? One thousand, ten thousand. Hey guys, I found these buckets. You think I could use them for sap if I washed them out real good? <laughs> I always get a good run on election day. Don't forget to vote, unless you're a Democrat. Nice wood-fired evaporator. You know what'll really speed that up? Tires. It'll cut your cooking time in like half. Just let me know, I got a bunch of them in the shed. You know what? There's absolutely no frost in the woods. There's absolutely no frost in the woods. What's all this talk about frost in the woods? So this is non-RO syrup and this is ro syrup. So is this like a Pepsi Coke thing? Absolutely no difference. That's RO syrup. Disgusting. Ah, traditional syrup boiled over a wood fire with butter used as defoamer. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Prices of equipment are up 20%, supplies are up 30%, and our production for the season was down 25%. I'm gonna lower our retail prices. Brilliant business decision. Okay, the new evaporator I want costs $20,000. If I sell the house, pay off my old filter press loan, I think I can totally swing this. First choice realty? I never put a tap in a tree until St. Patrick's Day. So the forecast is calling for a high of 33 on Wednesday, followed by 20 degrees below zero on Thursday. Do you think I should put my taps in? Yeah, I've got a 10 inch main line coming straight into the sugar house, and then we're concentrating up to 65% on the RO, and I've got an eight by 30 evaporator, which we're boiling down the sap at a rate of making 900 gallons of syrup an hour. Why, uh, what do you do? There's a bunch of crystals at the bottom of this syrup. Does anyone else know what I did wrong? What? There's a bunch of sand at the bottom of this bottle. What did I do wrong? 